This is what a typical Fury launchpad might look like. We have a bunch of tiles that more or less look the same. Some of them are dynamic, but what they can show is limited. The data that they can display is limited. Most of them are static. With Stalo Tile Builder, however, you can quickly and easily build a different array of dynamic tiles that show meaningful data. Uh, you can have different types of backgrounds. Uh, each tile can be different according to the purpose of that tile. So here's a few types uh, that have been built using Steel Tile Builder and to show you how quick and easy it is to build a dynamic tile with Steel Tile Builder, let's go through one example. So let's add a tile, choose Tile Builder 2.0 and on the left hand side you have all your usual uh, fields that you can enter for a tile. A really useful feature of Steel Tile Builder is in, in the top right hand corner you have a preview of your tile. So as you're um, designing your tile, you get to see it live of how it will look like, and that makes the process easier and faster. Okay, on the right-hand side, this configuration on the right-hand side, this is where Stalo Tile Builder adds the most value. Uh, you've got a bunch of pre-selected, uh, predefined pre uh, selections that you can make for the tile type. Um, Let's go for the comparison micro chart. As I've made my selection, the fields that are available to this type have now become visible uh, underneath. Because we want this to be a dynamic tile, uh, we need to select a backend service of where the data is going to come from. So let's select our service, and this simply is a function, an ABAP function in the backend. So we don't need to create a new gateway service, uh, we don't need to uh, do anything with all data. We just need to create a function in the back end or update a function in the back end um, and add it to the configuration so that it will display here and the results from that function can be brought into the app tile builder. If our function requires a, an input, we can supply it here. So our function does. So let's put that here. So now that I've selected my service and given it its input, I can hit the refresh button. And another really good feature is uh, to help me do the bindings, the correct bindings to the correct, correct data elements. Um, I get a data preview with a payload of the data from this service with this input. So now I can go ahead and use this uh, to do my binding correctly first time. Um, also notice how the tile fragment is being built for us. Um, so as I'm doing the bindings, as I'm making changes, the tile fragment is also being updated. Okay, so that's our bindings done. Uh, to check that if all our bindings are correct, we just hit the refresh button again and go to the data view in our preview and now we can see our chart is looking good. We can also bind some of these elements uh, to data as well. So for example, we've got some info in the data that's being returned. So let's bind that to the footer. So simply put in the field name, hit refresh, and we can see now in our preview, it says powered by Stalo. And this is data that's coming from the back end. Finally, as you would with any other tile, um, you can set up the navigation. And once you're happy, you simply save. And there you go. We have our tile that's ready now to be deployed to the Fury Launchpad. So it was that quick and that easy to create a dynamic tile using Stalo Tile Builder. Thank you for watching.